talk about what we mean when we say computer science. Computer science is a field where people use the power of computers to solve big problems. So is there a difference between computer science and coding? The answer is yes. Coding is the set of instructions you give to a computer. But computer science is a more holistic view of the field, which includes coding, but also includes things like what to do with a really big set of data, how the internet works and its societal impacts, and how to prepare and break down problems for solutions that use coding. Also, as a note, Code.org is all about the promotion of the computer science field, not just coding. We're called Code.org because it's short and snappy. Computerscience.org does not have the same ring. So coding or programming is instructions that you give to a computer. And there are two primary categories of programming languages, text-based programming languages and visual programming languages. Languages like JavaScript or Python are text-based, but we'll be learning to program with Blockly, which uses visual blocks that you drag and drop to write programs. It's easier to learn programming using a visual language versus a text-based language, because when you're learning to program, you're up against two things, learning the logic of how to write programs and also the syntax of writing programs. So it, in both visual and text-based programming, you're learning the logic of writing programs, like how to repeat instructions or how to make the computer decide between two instructions. Syntax is a set of rules on how to combine instructions so the computer can understand them. So in visual programming languages, syntax is easy because you have a menu of available instructions, which you can drag and place next to other instructions, and then you're good to go. In text-based programming, Syntax is more difficult because you have to remember what the instructions are called and you have to be very precise in what you type, like where you put a semicolon or remembering to include an exclamation point. By starting to learn to program with a visual programming language, you can focus on the logic without worrying about if you remembered to put a closed parentheses or not. Then once you've got the logic of programming down, you can choose to move on to a text-based programming language if you want, which can be more powerful and efficient than visual languages if you're experienced with text-based programming. So this learning progression is kind of like learning to crawl and get really, getting really good at that before you learn to walk. But by no means is learning to program with a visual language a cop-out. It's even how a lot of big universities like Harvard and Berkeley teach coding in their intro to computer science classes. And just like learning math in elementary school, you start with addition and subtraction. Our courses are the addition and subtraction equivalent for computer science. If your students continue to study computer science, they'll be on their way to writing apps, curing diseases by working with big sets of medical data, or writing programs for the rovers on Mars. Computer science affects so many different fields these days. It's not limited to writing software. It's a way to change the world. Computer science is creative and empowering. And when you learn the foundational skills in elementary school, this exposes it to students who might not opt into studying it otherwise. Not all of your students are going to grow up and become computer scientists. But computer science is all about problem solving, critical thinking, and persistence skills that will definitely be needed no matter what career your students pursue. And programming is also about explaining instructions so clearly that something without a brain can understand you. And we can all benefit from having better explanation skills.